Perhaps the biggest Idaho Falls news last week, Idaho Falls Mayor Rebecca Casper delivered the 2024 State of the City Address. Mm -hmm. And boy, she's a great speaker, isn't she? I could listen to her all day. She was good. She was good. At the very least, it was certainly a lot of news. Mm -hmm. There was tons in there about Idaho Falls. So if you have a chance to watch it, do go and watch it because it's got a lot of information. Go to the City of Idaho Falls Facebook page. And this might be a good time for me to gently... Um, remind the city of Idaho Falls that lots of people are on YouTube too. Mm -hmm. And I think they've only posted, they only posted like two or three videos in all of 2023. I'll also very gently point out that uh, YouTube is a much better video player. And I accidentally exited out of this one like four times while I was trying to watch it because somehow my palm bumped the screen in a way that Facebook didn't like. There's YouTube apps on Roku and Apple TV. Whereas with Facebook, you've got to cast it. So your phone's tied up kind of. And it was a pain, but just a gentle reminder to the city of Idaho Falls that as we grow, um, and that's what her speech was basically was a politician talking about how well we're doing mostly, I think, right? Um, yeah, but, but it was honest. But as we grow as a city, let's also grow technologically, right? Which we kind of have with the whole fiber thing, yes. What did she say? 95% cool. of Idaho Falls proper uh-huh. is now covered with fiber. You now have the option to have Idaho Falls Fiber if you so choose. Mm -hmm. And this is another great opportunity for me to plug my favorite ISP for Idaho Falls Fiber because you know you have to pay the $25 infrastructure fee to the Mm -hmm. city and then also pay um, an ISP for your service. Right. Uh, Quicknet, qwk.net. Now, one of the things that she did bring up that I was so excited about and that I really had to kick myself for because I knew about it before the state of the city that she did um, is that they're actually building an all access bathroom at the all access park in Toffis. Well, that makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Well, and here's the funny thing. So I was watching one of my friend's kids the, uh, a while ago and he wanted to go to the park and he very specifically said he wanted to go to the one at Toffis with the blue mat or the blue flooring. I don't know what you call it, but um I knew which one it was because I remember uh, the first time I ever knew about it was in uh, high school and everyone was like, dude, it's so cool. You got to go, which is weird for high schoolers to say, but small towns, you know how it is. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Star for entertainment. Yeah. They're like, yeah, let's go to the park at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so I took the kid there. We were playing around and there were some guys working on a structure behind a fence and he was like, oh, I wonder what they're building. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, do you want to ask him? And he's like, you can do that? And I was like, yeah, dude, they might even answer. <laughs> you can actually go up to people and talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but in this day and age of, uh, you well, know. Well, you know, he didn't see the little floating A button above their head, right. so he didn't think he could interact. They, they thought they were non-play- NPCs, non-playable <laughs> yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah, but the NPCs <laughs> that don't talk, they just walk around. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we went over to those N- NPCs that you can talk to, and we interacted with them and asked, hey, what you guys building? And they're like, oh, we're building a bathroom. And I was like, about time, first of all. The fact that more parks don't have easily findable and accessible bathrooms close to the playground. Yeah. First of all, do you know how small baby bladders are? Uh-huh. Do you know how small my bladder <laughs> is? Right. <laughs> right. Like, I just want to be able to go to the park with a kid or not. You know what? I like swings, too, and I'm an adult, and that's that. <laughs> Let's okay? go swing in this summer. <laughs> So different when you're an adult. Dang right, it. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Anyway. No upside down pineapples here. No, no. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, yeah, I Google would like <laughs> I would like to be able to go to a park, have a nice picnic, and not have to like scour the area yeah. for a restroom. Yeah. You know? Uh, and I'm one of those people that I don't oftentimes recognize my physical needs until it's almost too late. Like when I, I don't feel hungry. I'm starving mm-hmm. right now. Right, That's right. my tummy voice. <laughs> um, if I have to pee, I have to go right now. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Well, and another thing that I thought was really cool that she mentioned is that they're expanding the airport and be, and I guess in hand with that, they're actually working to create a route to L.A., which is awesome because I have a cousin who lives in L.A. who visits all the time and I'd love to make it nice and easy for her. Well, I know Allegiant flies to LAX, right? Well, yeah. Not, but not always. Some, well, I think they have offers. And it's got a connecting flight. So I think they're oh. working on a... Uh, Gotcha. Uh, single. A direct route. Direct. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm so good at the words today. <laughs> that would be hot, especially for everybody who, you know, 
goes to Disneyland from here. Are right. you kidding? Well, and how nice would it be for the fares to actually be decent enough that we don't have to drive all the, all the way down to Salt Lake? Because I'm so sick of that. I actually know the West Coast uh, vice president of promotion for Disneyland. Yes. And um, I tried talking into So Disneyland has a few target markets. Believe it or not, pretty much everybody east of the Rockies goes to Disney World. Mm-hmm. But Disneyland focuses on, you know, that are these are five, six, let's see, from north to south, they are Seattle, Portland, Salt Lake City, Denver, San Francisco, LA, and San Diego, seven. Mm-hmm. That's all they focus on. And I tried to convince her to make Idaho Falls a target market too. So well, we're the, growing enough. Right. So the radio stations or, you know, podcasters could do uh-huh. promotions with them. You know, <laughs> I mean, our first episode was about Disneyland. It was. Okay. Now I want to do a quick honorable mention for one of my favorite parts of the entire broadcast, which was when she went to cut to the city activities and operations slideshow. And it just showed her the whole time as oh, she was man. like drinking water and like watching it. Uh-huh. And the whole time I was like, couldn't pan the camera. <laughs> Had to leave it right there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Maybe work on the camera a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh-huh. But my all They had a wide shot, didn't they? They had a wide shot and then a zoom in? No? Well, th- that's the thing. They did, but they stuck to they the didn't zoom use in. It. Oh, fine. Yeah. But my all time favorite part of the entire thing was when Rebecca Casper apologized for using the word crappy and said oh. that she was so sorry because it wasn't elegant. I'm so shocked. <laughs> Madam Mayor. I mean, what a terrible C word for you to use. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and anyway. <laughs> crappy. We're talking about the word crappy. 